What's going on guys, it's Dio here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about tear-offs. I'm gonna be using my Scott Prospect Limited Edition Logger goggles. We're gonna be using some tear-offs from cheaptearoffs.com. I'm just gonna show you how to put them on. I'm gonna talk about what tear-offs are for and just kind of do a comprehensive overview for tear-offs. Let's move down to the goggles. For this video today, I'm gonna to be using tear-offs from cheaptearoffs.com. They aren't endorsing this or anything, but they are nice cheap tear-offs. But for the first time, if you're using Scott Prospects, you're going to want to get actual Scott goggles because you need this strap right here. Other goggles may have them, but with the Prospects, it has a thicker band here. So you're going to want to get the thicker plastic thing. That's so we can stack multiple tear-offs. Now, I know, of course, most of you guys know all about tear-offs. You know the purpose of them. You know when to use them and everything. And that's so when your goggles get roosted in the race, you can pull a tear-off and have clear vision. However, I also like to use them when I'm practicing, and that way... Um, I can keep my, well first you can practice pulling your tear offs, that's a skill that's good to have, but also you keep your lenses nice and not scratched and scuffed up. So what I actually like to do is take one brand new tear off and I cut off the, the flat part of it and I just put that as a screen protector sort of, just a lens protector over my base lens. So I just put on that cut tear off just as a base protection layer. Of course before you even start that you want to make sure you're starting with a clean base. You want to clean your goggles because if you're going to put tear offs over a dirty base they're not going to help. No matter what you pull you're always going to have that base of dirt. So make sure you're starting with a nice clear goggle and then we're going to put that protective layer over it. So now that we have that layer, we're going to start with our first actual tear-off. Now these cheaptearoffs.com, they are thinner tear-offs, they're a little harder to work with, but they do fit great and you cannot beat that price. So I'm actually going to spin this around so it's pointed straight towards me. But we're just going to put the, uh, the tear-offs on the pins, of course, all the way around. The Scott Prospects, as you obviously ha see, has four pins. And now we have this hanging here and we have two more dots, two more holes. We're going to put one on that plastic holder on the band we talked about, and there is our first tear-off ready to be pulled. As far as I know, there's only one way to put on tear-offs, but if you have a way that works for you and it works, that's totally fine. This is just how I do it. So we have our base layer, we have our first tear-off, tear off. now we're going to put on our second one. I'm just going to spin the goggles here so I can put these on a little easier. Snap them onto the posts on both sides, of course. Okay, now here is where the uh, tricky part comes in. Not really tricky, but we have the two flaps of tear-offs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the flap of this second one, and I like to roll it to this other hole. We have the big hole here, hopefully you can see it all right, and we have the smaller hole. I like to roll it to the smaller hole there, and then the second one lays over top of it, and then we pop it on. So you can see now we have our one flap here, and as we actually pull this, it's gonna pull up the next flap. So pretend this gets muddy, we're gonna pull. And now we have that next flap ready to be pulled. That is how, it's kinda of like if you pull a Kleenex off, the next one pops up, it's the same kind of thing. So each time we pull a tear off, one, the next tear off down is gonna pop up like that. Let's go ahead and put the second one back on. Then we're actually gonna put a third one over top of it just so you can see the full practice. Put it on that hole right there, snap that one on. Grab a third tear off here. The more tear offs you run, the blurrier your vision will be because you have more of these pieces of plastic to actually look through. So it'll start to get wavy and you might have some issues. But um, of course, you can buy the fancier laminated tear offs that will help that. But um, with these cheap tear offs, I like to run about three of them at a time plus the base layer. So I'm really looking through four layers of a uh, tear off. There you go. Of course, doing this in proper light really helps, but there we go. So now we have our tab right here, and when you're riding, if you've never used tear-offs, you might hear this kind of buzzing in the wind. You can't really get a, like, you might hear that noise. That's just the wind blowing that around. But there you go, there's your tear-off stack on your goggles. So there we have it, we have all the tear-offs on. Just gonna go ahead and put these on. And so now you get mud on here, you just pull. The next one becomes available, you pull. Next one becomes available and it's kind of stuck to my strap here, but you pull. So that's how you're gonna put on tear-offs, how you're gonna use tear-offs. Again, that's just how I do it, works for me. Um, hope this helps you guys out. Maybe you can use this your next practice day or your next race. And like I said, I like to get these from cheaptearoffs.com just because they are cheap, but um, the ones from the actual manufacturer are a little bit thicker, a little bit easier to put on your goggles. Um, they won't flap in the wind as much and then if you want to go all out and get the laminated ones you just have to install them all at once i've actually never ran those myself but whatever works for you thank you guys so much for watching i hope this helped you out until next time as always take it easy it's easy take it twice we'll talk to you later